Hello and welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd do a quick video on SDR Plus, the software that I use to record my radio signals and audio when I'm out and about doing digital and analog testing. Now, Tech Minds has done a superb video on this and I'll put a link in the description to his channel where he explains how you set all this up and I do this the same way using a simple SDR connected to an external antenna. Now digital signals are everywhere now. Uh, you'll find security personnel, um, people you want to listen to in the past are now all using digitally encrypted systems so you really do need to get a digital setup in your software to be able to do that. Now the SDRs are available very cheaply from eBay as you can see here and you can set these up with your, your analog SDR software uh, using TechMind's guide as I've already mentioned. Now it's a very very good guide, very comprehensive but there are a few little tweaks and tips and hints that he's, he probably didn't mention in that video that I thought I would just mention here which might help people that are struggling as some people do seem to be struggling. Um, first thing you can do when you enable uh, this after you've installed the DSD Plus software is to go to the side menu and to make sure you've got narrowband FM selected as your input uh, frequency type and then in the output uh, this is on his guide anyway but make sure you've got the uh, the virtual cable on the input selected there and that's very important and turn off your squelch that's another thing that wasn't mentioned if you have your squelch enabled this won't work um, properly and um, all the all the noise reduction filters anything that's there just untick it um, very very useful to, to do that and will really improve things then go down to the DSD interface and make sure that you've got the the virtual cable on the input side as well and the output level is important to set that don't just whack it all the way to the right because it'll you'll lose you'll only receive about half of the digital signals that you can you, you could possibly receive so you can set that by going to the audio menu in the bottom right hand corner here go to the open sound settings and you can make sure on the input that you've got the cable output for the virtual audio cable selected not your microphone or your line in cable you need that the virtual output and when you've actually got DSD running you'll see the level come up in that window underneath it and you'll be able to adjust the level you just want it just off of peaking you don't want a completely red filled box because that indicates that you've got too much signal going in so get your DSD running and then you'll actually be able to set it up properly in there and you'll find you'll get you'll receive a lot more signals that way and because of course some people aren't receiving anything because they just can't get it set up there they have no signal so I thought I would just show that now another tip when you'll find when the uh, the DSD plus software is running um, it comes up with four little windows now uh, unless you put software on your PC these windows will disappear when you click on the main on, on the main SDR software and it's really annoying um, so what I was going to show you is, is some software you can download for free which lets you set any window in Windows so it appears on top very very useful feature that um, something that should be built into Windows anyway but it's not uh, and this software is called Display Fusion I did a quick Google on this and found that the free version, although there's lots of other things that this can do, especially if you've got twin monitors, um, but the free version does allow you uh, to actually set this feature up so that you can keep Windows on top. Now, it's useful in lots of other applications, but it's particularly useful in this one so that you can keep all these events windows on top of the SDR software and not have to tile them around the edge and sort of squeeze the SDR software in. And of course, it never keeps those settings either, but it does with this. So what you find once you've installed that software, you get this little box that appears. And this little box gives you options of what you can actually do. If you right click on it and you go to uh, Windows Move Size or Windows Management, you'll find the, the option to keep the boxes on top are, are up there. Now, we'll have a little listen. Yeah, you're going to need to tell Mike 02 and Hotel 1 that they need to. I'm sure Pocock was supposed to come and fit a new hatch there yesterday. Because yeah. um, we had to write it in the diary, but as far as I'm aware, they didn't turn up. Yeah, all too great. No worries. Cheers for that, anyway. Right, I hope you found that interesting and useful. I just thought I would address those uh, comments because uh, there seem to be quite a few of them and uh, I just wanted to make sure that people got their system set up correctly. Anyway, if you have been watching, thanks ever so much. We'll catch you on the next one.